far beyond the cold orbit of Neptune, where sunlight fades into eternal twilight, something impossible just happened. And I need you to understand something right now, before we go any further. What I'm about to tell you isn't speculation, it isn't a theory, it's recorded, it's documented, and it's terrifying some of the brightest minds on this planet. NASA's deep space cameras captured movement. Not dust drifting, not ice cracking, but something deliberate, something inside an interstellar object moved from within. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why this single discovery might be the most important moment in human history. But first, I need to know where you are right now. Drop your country in the comments. Hit that like button. Because we're about to journey into a mystery that connects all of us, every person watching this video from every corner of our tiny blue world. We're all witnesses to the same sky and something out there just woke up. The object has a name, 3i Atlas. When astronomers first spotted it, they thought it was simple, just another icy wanderer, a chunk of frozen rock from another star system drifting harmlessly through our cosmic neighborhood. Nothing special. Nothing to worry about. Another entry in the catalog. Another dot on the star charts. But here's where it gets strange. The deeper NASA looked, the more wrong everything became. Its speed was too high, way too high for something that should be just tumbling through space. Its trajectory too precise. Like it knew where it was going, and its rotation completely uneven, like something uh, was resisting the natural laws of physics. Like something inside was fighting against the spin. Then came the glow, that faint emerald hue. No comet should glow like that. No asteroid in our records has ever emitted that kind of light. Scientists kept calm, though. Space is full of surprises, right? They've seen weird things before. Strange ice compositions unusual mineral content until last week. Last week, the James Webb Space Telescope detected something that changed everything. Motion, mechanical-like motion, coming from inside the object itself. Let that sink in for a moment. An interstellar body, something that has traveled through the absolute darkness of space for millions of years, something that crossed the void between stars. Something that survived temperatures near absolute zero. Survived cosmic radiation that would shred any human-made spacecraft. It just twitched from within. Now, NASA's first response was predictable. They thought it was a glitch. Cameras, this sensitive pickup noise all the time. Cosmic interference, false positives, maybe a software error, maybe cosmic rays hitting the sensor. Standard procedure is to verify, double check, dismiss. But then something unprecedented happened. Three different observatories confirmed the exact same thing. James Webb saw it, Hubble saw it, the European Space Agency Solar Orbiter saw it. Three independent systems, three separate confirmations, different instruments, different angles. Same result. At that point, the question wasn't if something moved inside 3i Atlas. The question became, why? And I'm going to tell you what that why might be. But first, you need to understand what happened next. Because this is where it gets absolutely chilling. And Dr. Stephen Patel at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center said something that should make every single person pause. He said, we've seen comets tumble, we've seen asteroids break apart, but we've never seen one shift from within as if something's pushing back. Pushing back, think about those words, not reacting, not breaking, pushing, like there's intention behind it, like there's force being applied from inside out. The data logs revealed something incredible. The internal movement was small, just a few meters across, nothing dramatic from the outside to the naked eye. If you were somehow floating next to it in space, you, you might not even notice. But here's what happened in that exact moment. The temperature inside the core changed. Instantly, within seconds, it plunged nearly 100 degrees, as though something had absorbed the heat, as if something inside was drawing energy inward, pu pulling thermal energy into itself. Then came the pulse. 
a sharp electromagnetic spike, brief, rhythmic, unmistakable, and here's what makes it terrifying. That pulse repeated three times, three distinct pulses, each one exactly 4.7 seconds apart. Now, a pulse means something very specific. It means energy, and energy means activity. The official report from NASA calls it an unclassified thermodynamic fluctuation. Bureaucratic language. Safe language. The kind of language you use when you don't want to cause panic. But behind closed doors, scientists at NASA and Harvard are using a different word, anomaly. And in the scientific community, anomaly is code for something we can't explain with our current understanding of physics. And I want you to really grasp what this means. 3i Atlas didn't form in our solar system. It's not from here. It came from somewhere beyond our sun's influence, beyond the heliopause, from the space between stars, moving faster than any natural object we've ever measured. For something inside it to move, to pulse, to absorb heat in perfect cycles, that suggests one of two possibilities. Either there's an internal process happening that we don't understand, some exotic physics that we haven't discovered yet, or there's something housed within it, something intentional, something designed, and that's when the theories started flooding in. Later in this video, I'm going to tell you about the darkest interpretation, the one that scientists whisper about but won't say on record, the one that keeps them awake at night. But right now, let's look at what they're willing to admit publicly. Some scientists believe it's natural. Trapped gases expanding and contracting after exposure to sunlight. Plausible, right? Gases do strange things in space. When frozen methane or carbon dioxide gets hit by solar radiation, it can create outgassing events. We've seen this before, except for one problem. Gases don't pulse rhythmically. They don't freeze and then heat in perfect measurable cycles. That's not random, that's organized, that's patterned. Others proposed it might be a complex crystal structure, a kind of frozen memory material that reacts to radiation by bending or flexing. Imagine a crystal lattice that stores energy and releases it in bursts. Interesting theory. Except crystalline structures don't generate electromagnetic pulses. They don't absorb heat in controlled bursts with mathematical precision. They don't create magnetic fields that fluctuate in sync with internal movement. So if it's not gases and it's not crystals, what's left? There's another idea, one that has both terrified and fascinated the scientific community. What if 3i Atlas isn't a rock at all? What if it's a shell? What if we're not looking at a natural object, but at something designed, something built? And before you dismiss that, let me tell you why this theory isn't as crazy as it sounds. In fact, by the time I'm done explaining, you might find yourself believing it's the only explanation that makes sense. To understand this, we need to go back to its discovery. 3i Atlas entered our solar system from a direction almost perpendicular to the galactic plane. That's unusual. Most objects follow predictable routes influenced by nearby stars. They come from the Oort cloud or the Kuiper belt. They have trajectories we can trace back to their origin. But this one came from deep interstellar void. No gravitational pull from any known star. It was traveling alone, not part of a cluster, not following any trajectory we recognize. That alone made it rare. In fact, in all of human astronomical history, we've only detected a handful of interstellar objects. Oumuamua was the first confirmed one in 2017, then Borisov in 2019, now 3i Atlas. But here's where it gets truly bizarre. When it passed through the solar wind near Mars, its outer layer rippled. Telescopic imaging showed fine geometric patterns forming across its surface hexagonal in some areas, spiral in others. Perfect mathematical shapes, as if the heat was revealing something hidden beneath the dust, like invisible ink becoming visible when exposed to warmth. And then, when the glow subsided, those patterns vanished, like something had pulled a blanket of darkness back over itself, like it was hiding, like it didn't want to be seen. Now stay with me, because this next part is crucial. 
the latest data from NASA's sensors shows a faint magnetic field around 3I Atlas. Unlike any natural body of its size, natural asteroids don't have magnetic fields like this. They might have residual magnetism from their formation, but not active fields, not fields that change. This one is weak but consistent. And here's the kicker. That magnetic field fluctuates exactly when the internal movement occurs, as if whatever is inside is generating it or manipulating it. The correlation is perfect. When movement happens inside, the field strengthens. When movement stops, it weakens. That's not coincidence. That's causation. Dr. Lynn Carver from MIT's astrophysics department said something that perfectly captures this mystery. She said, if it's random, it's the most well-organized randomness I've ever seen. So let's explore the possibility that terrifies some scientists and excites others. What if 3I Atlas is a capsule? Imagine for a moment that this isn't merely space debris. Imagine it as a vessel from an ancient civilization, traveling for millions of years between stars. Inside, maybe there's a chamber shielded from cosmic radiation, frozen in time. Um, protected by layers of ice and rock. If you wanted to send information or even life across light years, would you use radio signals? No. Radio signals decay. They scatter across space. They fade into background noise. The inverse square law means they become undetectable after just a few light years. You'd use something that could sleep, something that could wait, something that could awaken when conditions were right, a physical archive, a time capsule built to survive the journey between stars, think about what we've already done as a species. The Voyager probes, the pioneer plaques. We've sent physical messages into space because we understand that electromagnetic signals are too fragile for interstellar distances. If we understand that, wouldn't any advanced civilization come to the same conclusion? And if they did, what would their version look like? Maybe something exactly like 3I Atlas an object disguised as a comet, unremarkable from the outside, but carrying something precious within. By the end of this video, you're going to understand why some scientists think that's exactly what we're looking at. But first, let me tell you what NASA's cameras captured next. Subtle tremors, like internal ripples traveling along its surface, wave patterns moving from one end to the other and the object's glow shifted from green to violet for just a few seconds. Now, sunlight doesn't cause that. Chemical reactions don't cause that. That's internal energy radiating outward, energy from within the object itself. Some scientists theorize that 3I Atlas might contain superconductive materials that activate when exposed to specific radiation levels. Materials that operate at near zero temperatures, that's possible. Superconductors can do incredible things. They can levitate. They can store enormous amounts of energy. They can generate powerful magnetic fields. But others, they wonder something far more unsettling. What if it's a probe designed to mimic the behavior of a comet until it's close enough to study us, unnoticed? hidden in plain sight among the millions of other objects in our solar system. But if that were true, what woke it up now? Think about this. The object has been in our solar system for months. It's been bathed in sunlight, bombarded by solar winds, hmm. scanned by every instrument humanity has, radio telescopes, optical telescopes, infrared sensors, X-ray detectors. We've hit it with every wavelength of radiation we can produce. Yet only now, only after crossing a region near Jupiter's magnetic field, did it react. Could Jupiter's magnetic influence have triggered something inside? It's possible. Jupiter's magnetosphere is enormous, strong enough to induce electrical currents across millions of miles, the largest magnetosphere in our solar system. It creates auroras on its moons. It traps radiation in lethal belts around its equator. If 3I Atlas contains conductive or reactive material, 
Jupiter could have acted like a switch, flipping something on, providing the final condition needed for activation. And that brings us to the most haunting question of all. Was it designed to react this way? Was it programmed to wait for Jupiter's magnetic signature before revealing itself? If it was, then we may be witnessing the awakening of something ancient. For now, one thing is absolutely certain. Something inside 3i Atlas is real, it moved, and it's watching the same sun we are, the same sun that gave rise to life on this planet, the same sun that warmed the oceans where the first organisms learned to survive, the same sun that hung in the sky when early humans first walked upright, the same sun that illuminated the first written languages, the first tools, the first art, the same sun that witnessed the entire history of human civilization. And now that sun is being watched by something else, something that came from beyond, something that might be reporting back, sending data across light years to whoever or whatever sent it, or storing information in crystalline memory banks for retrieval by explorers who might arrive centuries from now. The question we have to ask ourselves is what happens next? Do we try to communicate with it? Do we send signals directly at it, radio transmissions asking if anyone is listening? Or do we stay quiet and just observe? Some scientists argue we should remain silent, that making ourselves known that we don't know what this thing is or what its purpose might be. Others argue that if it's already here, already in our solar system, already potentially observing us, then staying quiet is pointless. We've already been found. The choice isn't whether to make contact. The choice is whether to acknowledge what might already be happening. So what do you think? Is this a natural phenomenon we don't yet understand? Some exotic physics playing out in ways we've never seen before? Materials and processes that exist at the boundaries of our current knowledge? Or could we be witnessing the awakening of something ancient and intelligent, something that was sent here deliberately, a messenger from a civilization that might no longer exist, a time capsule containing knowledge from beings who looked up at their own night sky and wondered the same questions we do? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Tell me what you believe. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who still looks up at the night sky with wonder. Someone who still asks the big questions. Because someday soon, maybe sooner than any of us expect, we may realize that the universe was never silent. It was simply waiting for us to learn how to listen. And now that we're listening, now that we're paying attention, the real conversation might finally begin. Okay. Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.